Here's an easy macro photo idea. Look for a local seller that will sell you caterpillars so you can watch them grow into butterflies, take macro photos of them, and then release them into the wild. I found one at a farmer's market and got these caterpillars. It makes for an easy way to take some macro photos without having to spend your time searching for them in the wild. They are easy to handle and place however you want them. Plus, once they turn into a butterfly, you have another opportunity for a photograph before releasing them. I'll be using a Canon 100mm macro lens, so let's see what type of photos I can get. These are monarch caterpillars. They are eating off of a milkweed branch. These caterpillars get pretty fat. Next, I placed a colorful towel behind this caterpillar to change the background. This is another reason why I like buying these, because you can spend time arranging the scene. Here is the Monarch Caterpillar's cocoon. It starts out bright green. I'm not sure what the yellow dots are. And after it hatches, take a few photos and then let it go. I don't remember what type this caterpillar was, but the spikes made it interesting. These were a lot smaller than the monarchs. They only take about two weeks to form a cocoon and hatch. seem to be more active and curious than the monarchs as well, always trying to escape. I couldn't get a good photo, but here is what their cocoon looks like. And here is what the butterfly looks like. It's a little difficult to photograph a butterfly in a tube, so this is mostly his face that's in focus. When I released it, it flew to some nearby plants, and I was able to get some better photos of it before it left. So next time you want to try macro photography, try buying some caterpillars. Alright, let's take a look at how we did. I would say my favorite is number 8. So which photo do you like most? Vote by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching!